Hi guys, welcome back to the channel! Yes! So guys, today I felt inspired to film a video that is not a live stream. I just wanna, I feel like showing, sharing with you, you know, what inspires me to make a luxury candle for my candle line. I wanna share with you what I look for on a luxury candle, okay guys? So I just wanted to give you some information that I found on Google, you know? It's like a lot of people ask me, you know, what makes your candle so special? So I say, okay, people, what makes luxury candles so expensive? And this is what Google says. Why are candles so expensive? For most, for most luxury companies, it starts with the quality of the scent. That is number one, guys. The quality of the scent is what's gonna make your candle either uh, be luxurious or be, uh, or be uh, less luxurious, okay? Uh, while perfumes are loaded with oils that simply smell good, a candle is a careful concoction of oils that burn well, okay? So yes, uh, this is not perfume. Perfume can be, uh, have uh, alcohol, you know, and you can mix them with, perfume can also be mixed with vodka, you know, some kind of a, uh, uh, this, and uh, not alcohol based guys, it's an like, like oil base, and they're meant to be burned in, in a candle with wax, you know, and that's why they are synthetics, because we have to be, uh, these different oils, they have to be like prepared specifically uh, to work on wax, okay? So, what are people looking in a candle? Three, the three most important things to look for in a candle are its wax, the wick, and its fragrance. The higher the quality of the ingredients, the more well-crafted and valuable the candle, okay? Again, I'm gonna read to you this answer. What makes a candle special? Fragrance, the wax, the wick, and the container together. The container is crucial. Uh, it, it all plays a part in creating a luxury candle experience. It's all about the experience, guys. Fragrance, of course, is the most important part of the candle. Inspiration for a fragrance can come from many different places and experiences. It could be a distant memory, a beautiful fabric, or a piece of art. Okay, that to me, it's like to me, uh, the main focus, the main, uh, the main drive that I have when making candles is the scent. Uh, what I look for in, uh, in my candles is I look for a can for a scent that speaks to me. You know, I start blending fragrance oils from different companies. I narrow the companies that I use for my candles to three. Uh, the first one is 1617, to me it's top notch. Second one is Stone Candles. And the third one, hand-picked Candle Science, okay? So I've been able to come up with a beautiful blend uh, that smells luxurious, it smells different, it smells, uh, it gives you the sense of passion, it creates an emotion, and that's what I want people to uh, to take away from the candle romance experience, okay? So today I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna be making my next candle for candle romance, guys. Okay, so I did an extensive test, all these different beautiful fragrance oils, guys, and what I do is I mix small samples like this. These are, these are the mini infinity containers from uh, Candle Science, I'm gonna uh, link them below. So I make all these samples, you know, and what, what I like to do is, uh, first I play 50-50 with the ratios, you know, because something very uh, generic. So, and then I, I just give to people to smell. And usually my neighbors in here, and uh, also my husband. So, uh, people write notes, okay, what do you like about this? Does this, uh, what kind of emotion you felt when you when you first uh, smelled the fragrance? Uh, you know, and it's, it's a very good way for you to judge whether or not this uh, candle is gonna do well in the market, okay? So, let's see this one here. Okay, guys, I made this combination uh, and I share on one of my live streams. Hey, guys, this is uh, the Campfire Marshmallows from Candle Size and Midnight Bourbon from Flaming Candle. Okay, this is kind of too sweet for me, but for those of you that like uh, the sweet candles, you know, especially this one, it smells like s'mores, you know, it's, uh, it gives you the, the sweet notes. And the midnight bourbon gives you like the grown up feeling. And this is gonna be great for someone who likes to have this kind of candle. Okay, the next candle in here that I have is okay, the next one uh, is a candle that I'm working on, guys. Uh, it's uh, three different oils from uh, candle, uh, from some candles. And this one is Darjeeling, green tea, and bears. Let's see. Okay, a beautiful city. I'm not sure about the uh, Darjeeling. Darjeeling could be very strong tea for you to smell. That's why 
uh, I need to give this to people to smell for me, okay? And this hasn't been tested yet. I'm curing it for a couple of days before I give it to people to test, okay? Now this one in here, it's um, a mix of three different oils. Okay, this one I love. So this one also I'm waiting for them to cure. So yeah. So once I find the perfect combination, guys, so this is what I do. Before I make the, the tests into a candle, I like to take the fragrance strips, guys, and then just put them inside uh, a glass bottle in here. And let it marinate. Let it marinate for a couple of for a couple of days and then come back to it and say, how do you feel about this after a few days? Because sometimes when you're doing fragrance testing, guys, and you uh, you get overwhelmed, so sometimes you come, uh, your nose become uh, like blind to smell anymore, you know? That's why I like to come back and that's why I like to save them in here on, the, on, the, on a glass container. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, then the next one, this is another one that I'm testing. Again, I'm not giving you the formulas, guys, because I'm very... I don't have to give my formulas away, you know? It's a lot of work that I've done, you know? And it's, it's just... I think everyone should, everyone should have politics when it comes to sharing the fragrance formulas. I think it's very personal. It's like, you know, people don't like to share... Like, for example, I'm a hair colorist also, a hair, hair, hairdresser. I don't like to share my hair color uh, formulas either, you know? It's very personal. It's something that you work hard in perfecting. And I believe everybody should have some kind of secrets, you know, within their companies. And, uh, you know, but if you don't mind, by all means, just, just give it all away, okay? Okay, this one is beautiful also. You see, uh, I had the experience already. I, I've, been, I've been doing this for over two years now. That I, I'm very familiar with the scents. So you know whether or not this one is going to work with the other one, you know? So once you come uh, to that point, you don't have to really spend uh, time in really like trying bl blending everything. I'm going crazy, you know, you just, you finesse your, uh, your technique, okay? Now this one is one that I just, <sighs> okay, this one, I'm gonna make into a candle today. This I have not tested yet, uh, but I know this one is gonna be huge. Uh, it's speaking to me. Uh, the emotion that I get from this is very intense. And I just wanna share with you guys how I'm gonna be making this candle, okay? So let me just put this away. And for today's candles, guys, I'm gonna be using this beautiful kaleidoscope. And uh, this is the e I, uh, Ebony kaleidoscope, guys, from 1617.com. Look at how beautiful, guys. It's very heavy. Look at the thickness in here. It, let me just read you a little bit about it, okay? Ebony kaleidoscope candle vessel, okay? Let me read you all the information. And guys, this comes in a lot of colors, you know? So, but today I'm gonna make me making the black one. Okay, a dramatic, dramatic, Black gloss candle vessel belongs in, ev in, belongs in every room. Versatile and elegant, our ebony kaleidoscope candle jar is where excellent quality meets wholesale value. Wood leaves are also included. This also comes with a wood lid. Okay, let me see if I can find it now. So here it is. Okay, so you don't have to think about leaves. This comes already with a wood lid. Let me just point the microphone this way. Hopefully. Okay, let's see what it says. Our interior paint, our interior paint application reveals the thick glass sham for a polished look. The thick edges give this a stunning luxury vibe. Yes, this vessel easily holds 13 ounces of wax, and we recommend that you begin your wig testing with doubles to the end of the three weeks. Okay, that's what I'm going to be doing today. Using either our designer wax blends, which is number seven or number three, kaleidoscope vessels are sold in a pack of six for optimal. Wholesale, uh, a wholesale pricing, okay? The exterior height is 4.625 inches. The exterior height with the lid on is 4.75 inches. Interior diameter at the opening is 3.25 uh, inches. Okay, guys, and then this says comfortable fill with the lid on 13 ounces of wax, okay? So that's what we're gonna go by today. So, I already wiped this with alcohol first. I always do that first, guys. So I'm gonna be making a candle. First, I'm gonna be using my candle making worksheet. Okay, the candle name is gonna be Ebony. Okay, today's day 10-5-22. Wax type is number seven, my favorite wax. And it's gonna be 13 ounces of wax for the fill. Total fill. The fragrance is gonna be, okay, another blend. So I'm gonna call it blend number one. 
and I'm going to be doing 10% for guys load. Okay, guys. Okay, the wick is going to be double CDN number three. I'm going to add the fragrance oil at 210, 205, 210, and I'm going to pour at 200. Number seven wax like to be hot whenever you add the fragrance oil. Uh, that's the best way that you can really blend the fragrance oil with the wax. It has to be at a higher temperature, okay, guys? So let me just get ready, guys. I'm going to get the wicks and I'll be right back. Yes! Okay, guys, so we're back. Okay, so let's see. So we know that we need a total amount of 13 ounces for the candle. Let me get my calculator here, guys. So I'm, I'm gonna be using 10% fragrance load, okay? So for that, I need to find out how much fragrance oil do I need for the whole candle, okay? So for that, what this is what I do, guys. I multiply 13 times 0 0.10 equals 1.3 so we're gonna be needing 1.3 ounces of fragrance oil okay so 1.3 ounces total so then what we do is we take the total amount of the candle weight the fill weight is 13 minus 1.3 which is the amount of oil that we're gonna be using equals 11.7 that's the amount of wax that we're gonna need for the candle yeah we're gonna put in here 11.7 ounces of wax plus 1.3 ounces of fragrance oil it makes it 13 ounces total yes you see how easy it is guys this is not rocket science okay so i'm putting all that information right over here so this is going to be very uh because the oils that i'm using are very complex and they are really like blend so well together this is going to be making an amazing candle guys so I'm just gonna start measuring the oils, and for that I'm gonna be using a very a specific uh, scale. So I'm gonna link it below if you want me to, okay? I'm gonna be using a container in here. So we know that we need 1.3 ounces in total, so we need 0.65 each, okay? So I'm gonna be using pipette, and I'm gonna be using the first oil, and as you can see, this is gonna be uh, stone candles. Both oils are gonna be for stone candles. And just, you know, you have to try everything once, guys. I've tried so many different companies, guys, and they have not given me the uh, the level of luxury that I'm looking for. That's why I say, you know, and let me just keep looking and looking and looking, you know, and just, and you recognize, okay, this is enough. Okay, then tear again. And I'm gonna go with oil number two. Uh, top, top notch quality, it doesn't get any better than this. You know, that's that's why to me, 16, 17, top notch, second place, stone candles. Okay, so here's the magic potion. Yes! Okay, now I put this away because I'm not gonna be needing this anymore. I use this small scale here, it's very, it's very uh, detailed, it's very precise. Well, this you can only use for small amounts uh, of oil, okay? Now for the big one, I have a bigger scale here. And I'm gonna be making this candle in the microwave, guys. I find the microwave to me the easiest way to do this when I am doing uh, research like this. Because I'm only making one candle. Okay, so I'm gonna tear this. And for this, I'm gonna be needing, like I told you, 11.7 .8, 11 .8, uh, ounces of wax. So I'm gonna start warming this up in the microwave. First, I'm gonna start six minutes. I mean, five minutes first. The candle. Okay, guys, so for this, I'm gonna be using the CD, uh, the wick kit for the Evermore container. So I'm gonna be doing, so you just place it at the bottom. Double CDN number three. Okay, guys, I wanna share something with you. I bought these uh, wood stickers from Amazon. These are the ones that have the, like, the, li the little tongue in here. Uh, I don't recommend them at all. They have no, no, they don't stick really at all. Very low uh, tackiness in there. I'm gonna throw them away. Uh, if you have this kind of uh, with, with sticker, I like the old ones. These are the ones that, that they don't have the, the little tongue on the side. They're hard to take out, but you know what guys? The, the glue is much better. 
So, I just figured, let me just share this with you because if it doesn't work for me, it's not gonna work for you. Again, like I told you, I already cleaned this, the vessel inside with alcohol to make sure there's no dust, there's nothing, you know. This is just a straw, plastic straw that I like to use. It's very useful that you have these holes in there that you can see. Ideally, when you have double wicking like this, you should keep them uh, an inch apart in the center. You have to be aware of when you're double wicking any kind of vessel that you're not spreading the uh, the wicks apart and that the wicks get closer to the to the glass because that could make uh, the glass get heat, uh, get too hot and it could shatter uh, the glass. It could cause a fire. So you have to be aware of you know, the wick placement at all times. That's why using this wick kit is ideal. So you can see. You see the wick placement? Perfection. And then I like to take and press, and press the wick really hard to make sure that you have complete addition of the uh, of the wick and the vessel. You, we don't want to have any separation of the wicks. That's why it's better to be safe and sorry and just take make these steps, you know, optional. But it's it really like make a huge difference. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the wick holder, place it on top, perfectly wick. So I'm gonna put it to the side, and I'm gonna put in there the date. I'm gonna uh, mark it. Okay, today is the, the fifth. Okay, I'm gonna call it stone candle test. I'm just gonna put it in here. So I know what it is. I have the formula in my paper in there and then I'm just gonna put it in here like this yes okay so we have four seconds I'm gonna check the temperature but guys when you are dealing with microwave this is very hot so you need to get uh, like an oven meat let me just go get one so the temperature is 204 I want it a little bit warmer so I'm gonna do 30 seconds Okay, 214 is perfect. I like to work with this uh, wax, which is number seven, guys, from 1617, uh, which is a soy base, soy blend wax, okay? So, and now I'm gonna wait 216. I'm gonna stir it. I wanna cool it down until it's um, 210. Okay, let's see what happened. Hold on, because the temperature went down very fast. Okay, it's saying that it's 194. I'm gonna put it back in the oven because I want it, it has to be above uh, 200 for me to put the oil. That's what I tell you guys, you have to really work with this when it's very hot because, uh, for example, if I were to put this in another vessel, in, an, in a pouring pitcher, in the microwave, that right there takes 10 degrees off. Okay, and then by the time you put the oil, that takes it like between eight and 10 degrees, so it's it's 170. That's why it has to be very, very, very hot. So yeah, don't be afraid. People, it's, a, it's, it's an old wives tale of people say that if you put too much, uh, if the oil is too hot, uh, the fragrance oil is gonna burn. Uh, we're not dealing with perfume here, guys. We're, we're dealing with oils. The oils are specially formulated to work in an environment when they're very hot, the liquids together. So the, the molecules they blend together, okay? So they need the heat for them to blend. And then as it cools down, the wax traps the oil in there. That's why there's only a certain percentage of oil that you can uh, you can add. Uh, for, for example, in this wax, you can add up to, I'm adding 10%. Why? Because I've done this before. I know some people go up to 12%. I don't recommend it because depending on the oil, you may get, you know, I don't wanna have a candle sweating on me. You can guys, when you do this, Make sure there are, no, there are no children around. Okay, it's 224. I'm gonna just pour the oil and I'm gonna start stirring. And let's see. Don't touch the glass, okay? I'm gonna take it off because I wanna stir, stir with this hand and I wanna take the temperature. Oh my god, the smell is amazing. This smell is amazing. This candle is gonna be a huge hit. Oh my god, it smells like pure luxury. Okay, it's 205, you see? 
You see how down it went? 10 degrees. And it's still on, on this glass container, which is extremely hot. Oh my God, it smells. Guys, I wish you could smell this. It is so luxurious smelling. Let me see if I can just push you in. It's a beautiful candle. You only have to mix for 20 seconds, which is great. Let me just put a paper towel bit underneath in case something spills on the table, it spills in the, in the paper towel. It's better to prevent than having to clean up a mess afterwards, okay? Okay, I'm gonna wait until it's 200. And uh, the reason why, because I don't want this to, sometimes when it's, this is too hot, guys, uh, the glue dots tend to um, come off because of the heat, you know, it's understandable, it's, uh, it's a hot oil. So make sure that it's, it's not that hot when you put it in, in, inside the container. And that has happened to me before. That's why I recommend that you guys not to pour too hot. Okay, it's 201, I think it's perfect. It's to the side. Again, you take the... Be very careful when you just then pour. And I know with this container it's gonna make a mess because it's done it before. So. Once you start pouring, guys, don't stop. Beautiful. Perfect. Now what I like to do is I like to take a, a paper towel and I like to soak up the wax when it's still hot. Again, be careful with the, with the glass container. Just put it aside let it, and let it cool down, okay? Don't put it on the sink because it's gonna crack if you put water on it, okay? It's very hot. That's why you have to do this when there are no children around and you have to be very careful and always wear um, this kind of mitten. Don't wear one of those things that you can just hold this. Wear, make sure that you're protected all in here. Gorgeous. Okay. Now guys, remember this is uh, 13 ounces fill. It is because like that because you need to allow space for the if you feel too much too high then it's, you're gonna crush the candle and you have to leave space for the wicks you know and for this amount of, of uh, thickness it's gonna be perfect okay guys so i'm gonna show you the candle this sunday october 9 12 noon pacific standard time okay guys so come back on sunday and i give you my results on the hd and the ct of this beautiful candle it's gonna be beautiful again i'm using two fragrance oils from stone candles okay these are fragrance oils that i tested before and i really like i told you before i made a lot of testers and i gave it to people people gave me the reaction and to me it was very close because these fragrance they spoke to me and that's the that's the trick you know and and yet do something that you love, you know, when when you smell something that you feel like, you just get, it's so gender fluid, it's masculine and feminine at the same time, which is the, the kind of vibe that I want to give to people, you know, it's very romantic, it's very uh, kind of musky, woodsy, at the same time, it's very, uh, it has some kind of citrus on it, so it blends so well together, you know, it's, it's great. To burn on any room in your house it's gonna be a perfect gift I think a lot of people are gonna love this candle you know it's not a niche candle it's just a candle that people I think everyone's gonna love okay okay guys so I'm very happy that you were here with me today guys I got so inspired to make this video for you guys I guys don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and please check my website candyromance.shop okay and I'll see you next Sunday, October 9th at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Okay, guys? Until the next one, I love you. Bye. Yes! Yeah!